In this short tutorial, we will cover a few special case scenarios. For more information and understanding the basic controls of Twixter, please watch the Twixter Basics in Sony Vegas tutorial. In saying that, I'm going to start by telling you something that I left out of the Basics tutorial, since some people have encountered this issue. You could get a red or blue frame if you set speed parameter to a number that is under 0%, because you could be asking, in essence, to get a frame before the first one. If you're trying to get your clip to play backward by using a negative speed percentage, this is possible, but not at the beginning of a clip, since a speed percentage of negative 100 does not simply flip the original sequence so that it plays backwards starting at frame 0. Even if you set minus 100 at frame 0, you will see frame 0 at frame 0, and at frame 1, Twixter would try to display frame minus 1. So the first red-blue frame would show up on frame 1. Imagine the playhead on your clip. If you're at the beginning of the clip and you tell the machine, Twixter in this case, to start playing backward, then there's nothing before the clip's starting position to play. That's why you might see a red or blue frame with the first frame that's a negative speed. There is another way though. If you want to play the clip backward, you could use the frame number option instead of speed percentage. You would simply put the first frame last and the last frame first. Right click on the frame number and select the time format absolute frames. Now at frame 0, we can go to Twixter and choose the frame number option for time remap mode and select the animate icon. Enter frame 118, in this case because frame 118 is the last frame number, and it will set a keyframe. And then we can go to frame 118 and enter 0, and it will set a keyframe. Now we can render a preview and see that it plays backwards. Now, let's look at a question that may come up. Is it better to use pan crop before or after Twixter? Let's take a look. I can take this 1080 movie into a 720 by 480 NTSC project timeline. Note that now the project and the footage don't have the same image aspect ratio. If I right click properties on the clip in the timeline, I can first make sure the maintain aspect ratio button is checked. If I uncheck it, you can see the difference. We can add Twixter and just make a quick change. I'm going to slow it down by 50%. If I decide that I want to zoom in on the shot or pan using pan crop, let's see what may happen if you do this before Twixter. There may be bad pixels at the frame edges. If so, we would want to move the pan crop to happen after we use Twixter because it will make a difference to Twixter when analyzing each frame. It's easy to change the order. You can just drag the pan crop icon in the event effects window and move it after Twixter. You can see that now you have nice clean frame edges on your Twixtered clip. This was a quick overview on a few tips for using Twixter and Sony Vegas. Check out some of the other tutorials and the documentation for more information.